um, what Clean's uh, been able to do is, which is really unprecedented, is to develop clean surfaced uh, crystals, nano sized crystals of transition metals. And our first therapeutic um, drug is CNMA U8, which is a um, uh, suspension of pure gold nanocrystals in pharmaceutical grade water. Um, and I know it sounds kind of simple, but it actually is really quite complex uh, to actually make pure crystals. We actually grow them atom by atom. So they're grown in very, very pure water through uh, electrochemistry um, and a lot of electricity. Uh, and these atoms self-aggregate uh, self -aggregate into um, preferred geometric forms. Um, and there are about four or five forms that they form into. Uh, and um, they remain in, uh, in suspension. That's the trick, is that having a pure um, crystal of pure gold atoms remain in suspension and not settle and, and you know, kind of turn into gunk at the bottom of the bottle. That's the trick. And um, we're the only ones that have been able to do that. And uh, these crystals, uh, when uh, taken orally, are absorbed into the, into the bloodstream. Uh, and they go through the, throughout the organ system, including the brain, spinal cord, and CSF. Uh, and we know that in cells, um, they provide bioenergetic catalytic support. So this is kind of a new concept, I think, for most people, uh, which is a biocatalyst. That is, you know, catalysts reduce the, um, uh, they reduce the um, uh, re reaction energy in order to make certain reactions move forward uh, and allow those reactions to move forward more easily. And for us, what we're doing is we're either donating or receiving electrons directly uh, within cells uh, to actually drive bioener bioenergetic reactions, the formation of energy within the cell. And we know that um, uh, energy depletion is a, is a problem in all neurodegenerative diseases. It certainly is a problem in multiple sclerosis. Um, you know, the, um, uh, the Kenneth P. Johnson award uh, talk that uh, Peter Calabrese gave uh, yesterday was a tour de force. And a I think, you know, many places in that talk, you can see there are areas where, you know, axons will degenerate because of the energetic demands on, de on demyelinated axons and their inability to, um, you know, uh, deal with that and they end up dying. So, so we firmly believe that pr by providing bioenergetic support to axons, we can keep them alive longer. And by providing bioenergetic support to oligodendrocyte precursor cells, we can actually drive remyelination. And that's been shown in multiple preclinical models. In fact, every preclinical pre model we've looked at, we've shown robust remyelination. Uh, and we've actually shown robust um, preservation of uh, neurons with a whole host of, um, of stressors, including hypoxia, glutamate cytotoxicity, 5-hydroxydopamine, uh, uh, MPP, uh, co-culture of, of uh, human motor neurons with uh, toxic astrocytes from ALS patients. So um, every, every single one we've looked at, we've uh, been able to show uh, neuroprotection and uh, preservation of neurite networks and uh, even a reduction in misfolded proteins, cytoplasmic misfolded, misfolded proteins, things like alpha-synuclein and the uh, dopaminergic uh, uh, neurons and uh, TDP43 and the uh, motor neurons. So uh, cells can actually repair themselves if you give them the appropriate uh, energetic support.